This is Twit. All right, so I use Adobe Capture. And the reason I use Adobe Capture is because I'm a creative cloud user. Uh, not only for photography stuff, but I also use Premiere Pro and After Effects and Illustrator and so on and so forth. What I like about Adobe Capture is it, it allows me to, you know, literally capture my creativity just at, regardless of what I'm looking at. I can be walking down the street somewhere and notice that the sky just looks really, really nice. I like the colors of the sky. I pull my camera up, snap a picture of the sky, and I could take those colors from the sky and make them as part of a color scheme inside of my creative cloud. Um, you can do it with patterns. You can do it with objects. Uh, I just posted in the chat, uh, in the chat room, where I took a, a picture of one of my drones and used Adobe Capture to pull it into Adobe Illustrator. And I used that drone graphic there to make my lower third. Well, not a lower third, but an intro or something. Yeah, it was an intro. But this thing, it, I know everybody doesn't use Adobe um, Creative Cloud because it costs money. I mean, granted, from a photography standpoint, you can get it as low as $10 a month. But I think there's a, there are a few other options out there, too, if you wanted to just use one or two different apps. But I have the whole suite, and this thing just makes everything seamless for me. You can pull things into Photoshop, pull things into a, uh, After Effects, Illustrator, some things can go into Premiere Pro. It just depends. Um, the color things really works in um, Premiere Pro. If you want to put some footage out there and put a lookup table on top of it or basically a filter, you can tell Premiere Pro to look in your libraries and it'll do an overlay on your video to give it a whole new look with instead of going out and buying all of these expensive lookup tables. It's really, really, really nice app. Wow. That's pretty good. That's very cool. That's really cool. I forgot about D Adobe Capture. I'm so glad you brought it to the arena. This is a this is a great utility, especially for Creative Cloud users, which I am also one. And I have the ten dollar a month one, which is nice. great. Photoshop and Lightroom. Nice. I didn't even know there was a ten dollar a month one. I'm paying like fifty bucks a month because because I, oh, I have Premiere too. Oh, ah, yes. yeah, you got Premiere, so yeah. yeah, yeah. So, which I just used Premiere tonight. So there you go. <laughs> nice. But this thing, it, it really comes in handy if you're just trying to, if you see something that strikes you, you know, just, just snap a picture of it and then you can play around with it the way Jason is on the screen here. Oh yeah, you know, this masterpiece can be yours. <laughs> yeah, you know, someone can use that. You know, you, you guys know Virginia Poltrack. She could, yes. she could probably use that, you know, just little stuff like that. Shapes, this library has no shapes. What is a shape? What's the that shape? right there would be a shape. Is the shape is that the way laptop. you made your drone, right, And? Yep. I just took a picture of the drone and it made a shape. And when I got to my desk, I went into Illustrator, imported that shape, and just tried to pretty it up a little bit. See, that's the raw image of it. It's all little, got all the little spots and oh, artifacts yeah. around it. But once right. I got in the after, it got into Illustrator, I could clean it up and then just do what I wanted to do with it. Instead of trying to figure out how to draw. <laughs> a drone shape inside of Illustrator, which is not easy for me. Oh, yeah. Well, I figured out how to get my keys <laughs> and my keyboard, but not that one and not, that, not the Q and not the R. If, if you get get rid of, of the E and the Q and then you can have a oh. WASD and then we could make you a gaming logo. <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I'm not so crea as creative as I thought I was. Uh, yes, you are. You're just in a different realm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, awesome. That's that's a lot of fun to play around with. It's called Adobe Capture CC, and it's free to play around with, right? It's free. If you, I mean, th the only time you, you have to worry about an actual cost is you're paying your Creative Cloud subscription. Other than that, you know, it, it's, it's just an app you play with on your phone and try to manipulate things on your phone. But having a subscription, that, that's the real power. Those assets go wherever you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, now I'm like creating a brush or something. And that's how Jason's going to make his next album cover. <laughs> there, <laughs> there it is. There it, it is. is. Piece yep. of cake. Cool. See, <laughs> I did go. that. <laughs> I did that. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. Put on a All gradient right. background. You Create and dominate, Jason. <laughs> right on. Adobe Capture CC. Check it out. That's awesome.